Are you stuck in a dating rut, feeling like you're spinning your wheels and going nowhere? You know that feeling when you're meeting tons of women but just can't seem to close the deal? Or maybe you're not even getting a second glance from the ladies. Sound familiar? You've swiped right more times than you can count, and you've hit the bars like it's your job. You're thinking, what am I doing wrong? We've got the roadmap to help you transform your love life, and it all starts with understanding why most men struggle in the first place. Are you ready to uncover the secrets and turn your dating life around? Let's dive in. 1. Being too agreeable You might think that being a nice guy is the key to winning a woman's heart. But there's a catch. While most women do appreciate decent guys, certain nice guy traits can be a turn-off. One of these is being too agreeable or eager to please, which can make you seem like you're putting her on a pedestal. Now you might wonder, what's wrong with being agreeable? Well, it can sometimes come across as lacking self-respect and backbone. When you always let a woman lead and never stand up for yourself, it can actually hinder your chances at a romantic connection. So how do you fix this? First, understand that being agreeable isn't the only way to make someone like you. In fact, having self-respect, dignity, and a backbone are attractive qualities. Don't be afraid to humbly disagree when necessary and always enforce your own boundaries. By striking a balance between being a genuinely nice person and standing up for yourself, you'll become more desirable and avoid getting stuck in the friend zone. 2. Trying too hard Ever feel like the more you try to get women's attention, the less successful you become? When you're constantly on the hunt, it can actually decrease your chances with women. Why? Because nothing screams low status quite like desperation. You see, we humans are experts at reading each other's subtle cues. It's ingrained in us, helping us determine who to trust and who to avoid. So when you're out there with the sole aim of getting laid, women can sense it. And trust us, that's not the impression you want to give. Now let's talk about fixing it. We know it's easier said than done. Telling you not to focus on getting laid is like saying, don't think about a pink elephant. It's nearly impossible. But what you can do is manage your expectations and adjust your approach. Instead of making sex the ultimate goal, focus on connecting with women in a more meaningful way. For instance, when you're out, approach women you find attractive with the simple aim of striking up a conversation. By lowering your standards for what you want to happen, you'll come across as more genuine and less desperate. Remember, it's all about shifting your mindset and building connections. When you do that, you'll find that you become more successful with women without even trying too hard. 3. Relying on dating apps Have you ever felt like dating apps are a never-ending cycle of swiping and disappointment? Well, you're not alone. While these apps promise endless possibilities, they often fall short for guys. Sure, they come with their own set of issues for women too, but for men, they're far from the easy hookup solution they're advertised as. In fact, studies show that as few as 0.6% of men find partners on Tinder. If you think you're the only one struggling, rest assured that you're in good company. With so many people on these apps, it's all too easy to get lost in the crowd and feel rejected. It's time to step away from the screen and flex those social skills. Meeting people offline has its advantages. It allows you to showcase your personality and depth, something that's hard to convey through a profile picture and a few lines of text. So, how can you meet people without relying on dating apps? It's all about putting yourself out there. Strike up conversations when you're out and about. Attend events, meetups, bars, clubs, and gigs. Join groups or take up new hobbies. Remember, it's easier to shine in person than on an app. By stepping out of your comfort zone and engaging with others in real-life situations, you'll have a better chance of making genuine connections and finding someone who appreciates you for who you really are. 4. Sucks at Flirting Flirting is the secret sauce that transforms platonic interactions into something more exciting and sensual. It's what sparks interest and keeps the fire burning. So if you're struggling with flirting, chances are, you're having a hard time turning conversations into romantic connections. But don't worry, there's hope. Flirting is a skill that can be learned and improved. It's all about finding the techniques that work best for you. Here's how you can up your flirting game. First, 
Remember to be playful. This doesn't mean acting silly or childish. Rather, make her laugh, tease her gently, and keep the atmosphere light and fun. A playful vibe can create a strong connection. Next, pay attention to your body language. Make eye contact and smile to show that you're genuinely interested in her. How you stand, sit, and move speaks volumes about your intentions. Lastly, don't forget to compliment her. Sincere compliments let her know she's caught your eye and that you see her as special. But remember, avoid being cheesy and always keep it genuine. By focusing on these flirting fundamentals, you'll be able to turn conversations into something more meaningful and create the romantic connections you're looking for. 5. Not working on yourself Let's face it, there's no magic fix for attracting women. You can't learn one simple phrase or trick that makes you suddenly irresistible. Attraction is complex, and it's about more than just sex. So, if you want to become more appealing to women, you need to work on yourself as a whole. That means actively striving to be someone with plenty to offer, and recognizing that women have a lot more to bring to the table than just their physical attributes. It's about developing genuine connections and seeing each other as multi-dimensional individuals. First, acknowledge that we all have our unique hang-ups and stumbling blocks. Commit to your own self-improvement and figure out what's holding you back. Remember, nothing changes until we change ourselves. Focus on practical advice and strategies that address the root cause of why you're not getting the attention you desire. It could involve building self-confidence, improving communication skills, or finding new ways to showcase your personality. By working on yourself and becoming the best version of you, you'll naturally become more attractive to women, and the connections you form will be deeper and more meaningful. 6. Not meeting enough women you know, sometimes the reason you're not meeting women is quite simple. You're just not putting yourself out there. If you're always hanging out at the same places and doing the same things, you're limiting your chances to meet new people, which could be holding you back from finding a romantic connection. So how can you turn this around? Well, the first step is to step out of your comfort zone and explore new environments. Attend events, clubs, parties, or any other social gathering where people mingle. But remember, it's important to stay true to yourself. So if art galleries are more your scene than nightclubs, go for it. The key is to socialize and create opportunities for connection. By putting yourself in situations where you can meet new people, you'll not only increase your chances of finding a romantic partner, but also expand your social circle and gain valuable experiences. Don't be the person who stays home watching Netflix alone. Get out there. Be open to new experiences and make your life more exciting. Who knows? You might just find the woman of your dreams along the way. 7. Not being yourself Let's talk about authenticity. We've all been there, trying to be ourselves when approaching women, only to end up feeling awkward or weird. You might think you should be able to stroll into a bar and win hearts without a care in the world. But the truth is, being yourself matters just as much as knowing how to present yourself. After all, your demeanor can greatly influence how others perceive you. It all starts with staying true to who you are. When trying to make a connection, it's tempting to put on a front or pretend to be someone you're not. But here's the thing. Most women can tell when you're faking it, and that's a turnoff. Instead, embrace your authentic self. No matter your interests or personality, there are women out there who are a great match for the real you. By being genuine and confident in who you are, you'll give them the chance to see and appreciate the unique person you are. 8. Not approaching women often enough Let's face it. When it comes to dating and finding romance, it's kind of a numbers game. Think about it. If you only take one shot at something in life, you give yourself just one chance to succeed. But if you try multiple times, you're increasing your odds of hitting the mark. Wayne Gretzky said it best, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And guess what? This principle applies to meeting, talking to, and connecting with women too. So what's the solution? Simple. Take more shots. But wait, this doesn't mean taking random, uncalculated shots. That's just a recipe for failure. Instead, be strategic and be prepared to put yourself out there and approach more women. 
The key here is to build up your self-confidence and let go of any expectations. Just be open to whatever happens and embrace the experience. Remember, every interaction is an opportunity to learn and grow, bringing you one step closer to finding the connection you're looking for. So go ahead, take those shots, and watch your love life transform for the better. By addressing these common reasons why most men can't get women and applying these practical tips, you'll be on the right track toward building genuine connections. Remember, it's all about self-improvement, authenticity, and putting yourself out there. Good luck, and here's to your dating success. If you like this video, then check out these related videos to see more and make sure to subscribe and leave a like.